bunch. They think big and they work hard. They also take risks, and that certainly proved to be true in 2020. Here is what's behind the rise in new business formations during the pandemic. Entrepreneurs are a gutsy bunch. They think big and work hard. They also take risks, and that certainly proved to be true in 2020. Even as hundreds of thousands of business have struggled amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Many entrepreneurs have pushed on and in record numbers heading into 2020. As the U.S. remains in the thick of a pandemic, hopefully entrepreneurs are applying for new business applications at the fastest clip since 2007. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, at the, at the same time, Americans' confidence in small business has reached record highs even exceeding confidence in the military, the medical system, public schools, the U.S. Supreme Court, and many other major American institutions, according to Gallup data. Whether you are thinking of starting a new business or you're interested in learning about the landscape of innovation and entrepreneurship, check these 86 entrepreneur statistics. There is no type of entrepreneur. However, entrepreneurs in the U.S. tend to be between the ages of 25 and 44 and are motivated most often by a desire to pursue their passion, exit corporation America, and take advantage of new opportunities. There are more than 31 million entrepreneurs in the U.S. Global Entrepreneurship Monitor. 55% of adults in the U.S. have started at least one business in their lifetime. Global Entrepreneurship Monitor. 26% of adults in the U.S. have started two or more businesses in their lifetime. The average entrepreneurship in the U.S. starts their business when they are 42, but that age varies by industry. In the software industry, the average age is 40. In the oil and gas industry, it's closer to 47. National Bureau of Economic Research. Among high-performing startups in the top 0.1% of growth in the first five years, the average entrepreneur in the U.S. starts the company when they are 45 years old. 60. 16% of Americans between the age of 18 and 24 started new businesses in 2019. 22% of Americans between the age of 25 and 34 started new businesses in 2019. 22% of Americans between the age of 35 and 44 started new businesses in 2019. and only 13% of Americans between age 45 and 54 started new businesses in 2019. 13% of Americans between the age of 55 and 64 started new businesses in 2019. 6% of Americans between the ages of 65 and 74 started new businesses in 2019. A college education is becoming less common among entrepreneurs in the U.S. Roughly 56% of those who were self-employed in 2019 had a college degree. 
down from 60% in 2018 and 64% in 2017. Only 2% 2 of small business owners have a doctorate degree, while 7% have a professional degree and 13% have a master's degree. Entrepreneurs in the U.S. cite wanting to be their own boss as the top motivation for starting a business. Other top motivations for becoming an entrepreneur include pursuing a passion, 39%. Wanting to exit corporate America, 25%. Taking advantage of a new opportunity, 25%. And finding new work after being laid off, 11%. 10% of entrepreneurs in the U.S. start a business because they are not yet ready to retire. 63% of Americans believe that entrepreneurship is a good career choice. Women entrepreneur statistics. There are fewer female entrepreneurs in the U.S. than male ones. However, the growth of women-owned businesses in the U.S. over the past several years has outplaced growth in all businesses. There were nearly 13 million women-owned businesses in the U.S. as of 2019. 27% of small business owners in the U.S. are women. Globally, there are 252 million women entrepreneurs. Women in the U.S. have historically started new businesses at a slower rate than men in 2019. 16% 16.6% of adult women under age 65 started new businesses compared with 18.3% of men in the same age group. However, women in the U.S. between the ages of 45 and 64 start new businesses at about the same rate as men in this age group. Generally, women-owned businesses in the U.S. are younger than the average business owner. 60 3% of women business owned are millennials or members of the Generation X, compared with 56% for all business owners. 36% of women business owners in the U.S. are baby boomers, and 1% belong to silent generation. Between 2014 and 2019, there was 21% increase in the number of women owned businesses in the U.S compared with a 9% increase in the number of all businesses. Between 2014 and 2019, women-owned businesses in the U.S. increased their total number of employees by 8%, compared with the 1.8% increase among all businesses. The most popular industry for women-led and women-owned business in the U.S. include retail, 16%, health and beauty and fitness services, 13%, business services, 11%, food and restaurant, 10%, and residential and commercial services, 6%, 7%. 71% of women entrepreneurs start a business to make a difference in the world, compared to 63% of men. 65% of women entrepreneurs start a business to build wealth and earn a higher income, compared to to 73% of men. 45% of women entrepreneurs start a business to earn a living because jobs are scarce, compared to 38% of men. 29% of women entrepreneurs start a business to continue a family tradition, compared to 32% of men. African American, Hispanic, and Asian entrepreneur statistics. According to the Global Entrepreneur Monitor, roughly 70% of entrepreneurs in the U.S. are white or Caucasian. However, African American, Hispanic, and Asian entrepreneurs continue to form new businesses at increasing rates. 35% of African American owned businesses in the U.S. are women, compared to 27% for all business owners. African American women own 2.7 million businesses in the U.S. Latina and Hispanic women own 2.3 million businesses in the U.S. There are about 6.4 million businesses in the U.S. owned by women of color as of 2019. 
Women of color run 50% of all owned businesses in the U.S. Generally, black businesses owners in the U.S. are younger than the average business owner. 67% of Amer African American business owners are millennials or members of Generation X, compared with 56% for all business owners. 60, excuse me. 31% of business entrepreneurs in the U.S. are baby boomers, and 2% belong to the silent generation. Latino-owned businesses in the U.S. employ more than 3 million people and grow the economy by almost $500 billion each year. Between June 2009 and June 2019, the number of Latino business owners in the U.S. grew 34% out pacing the 1% growth among all business owners and the 6% decline among white business owners. Between 2009 and 2018, the percentage of Latinos who were self-employed in the U.S. grew more quickly than all other demographic groups. Latinos have the highest rate of new entrepreneurship of, all, of any other demographic group in the U.S. On average, 440 out of every 100,000 Latino adults became entrepreneurs each month in 2019. For comparison, 240 African American adults, 290 white adults, and 310 Asian adults out of every 100,000 became entrepreneurs each month in 2019. Asian entrepreneurs run 10% of all businesses in the U.S. 92% of Asian entrepreneurs in the U.S. start new business out of opportunity rather than necessity. Necessity in 2018. 86% of white entrepreneurs in the U.S. started new businesses. 85% of Latino entrepreneurs in the U.S. started new businesses. 81% of African American entrepreneurs in the U.S. started new businesses. Entrepreneur Funding and Income Statistics Entrepreneurs in the U.S. typically rely on a mix of cash, gifts, and loans from friends and family members and other loans to get their business off the ground. Additionally, the average of entrepreneurs tends to make more than the average non-entrepreneur. 58% of small businesses in the U.S. start with less than 25000 and one-third start with less than 5000 Cash is the most popular small business financing method in the U.S., with 37% of owners using it to start their business. 13% of small business owners in the U.S. use rollovers as business startups, also known as ROBs, to start their business. 10% of small business owners in the U.S. rely on family and friends to finance their business. 9% of small business owners in the U.S. use unsecured loans and 6% of U.S. Small Business Administration loans to start their business. Accounting, online retail, and construction and landscaping business in the U.S. typically require the least amount of startup capital, while restaurants, medical, office, and manufacturing businesses typically require the most. The average entrepreneur makes around $61,000 per year. The average white entrepreneur makes 64000 per year, compared to 50000 for the average white non-entrepreneur. The average Asian entrepreneur makes thirty, excuse me, makes 63000 per year, compared to 58000 for the average non-entrepreneur. The average African-American entrepreneur makes 38000 per year, compared to 35000 for average African American non entrepreneur. The average Latino entrepreneur makes thirty six thousand per year compared to thirty three thousand for the average Latino non entrepreneur. For some reason, I don't seem to think that's right. There's got to be more than that. Small business statistics. Small businesses make up the overwhelming majority of businesses in the U.S. and employ 10 
of millions of Americans. There's no single definition of small business. Depending on the industry, small businesses can have a maximum of 100 employees all the way up to the maximum of 1,500 employees in general. They can't have more than 41.5 million in annual receipts. There are 31.7 million small businesses in the U.S. 99.9% .9 of all businesses in the U.S. are small business. Small business in the U.S. employed 60.6 .6 million people as of 2017. Small business employees made up 47.1% of all employees in the U.S. as of 2017. Healthcare and social assistance, accommodation, and food service, retail, and construction companies are the top small businesses employ employers in the U.S. Small business in the U.S. created 1.6 million net jobs in 2019, with the smallest firms fewer than 20 employees creating 1.1 million of those jobs. 71% of adults in America believe that it is easy to start a business. 70% of small business owners in the U.S. report working more than 40 hours per week, and 19% reporting more than 60 hours per week. 76 of percent of small business owners in the U.S. say they are somewhat or very happy, while only 13 percent reporting being somewhat or very unhappy. 92 percent of small business owners in the U.S. say they don't regret starting a business. Small business success rate statistics. Running a business is challenging, but many more new businesses survive rather fell in their first few years of business. Research shows that age and also experience plays an important role in entrepreneurs' success. Approximately 20% of new businesses close in the first year of being open. Roughly 50% of new businesses close within five years of being open. Of those who started business, a 50-year-old founder is about two times more likely to reach a high growth rate than a 30-year-old founder. I always thought to myself that it was probably a, a stigma that plays a role in this, just the way that we think. New business owners in, in their 20s are least likely to achieve a successful exit or create a business in the top 0.1% of growth. Those that start a business that closely aligns with their previous experience are significantly more likely to achieve high growth, in some cases up to 125% more likely. Small businesses during COVID-19, hundreds of thousands of small businesses have struggled greatly during the pandemic. At the same time, public confidence in small businesses has soared at to record highs and hopefully business owners are applying for new business applications at the fastest rate in more than a decade. As of September 2020, roughly 164,000 U.S. businesses have closed since the beginning of March 2020. That's including about 98,000 permanent closures and 66,000 temporary closures. Lawyers, real estate agents, architects, accountants, health professionals, plumbers, and contractors have seen relatively low business closure rates because of the pandemic. Meanwhile, restaurants and retailers have been affected particularly strongly. 52% of small business owners in the U.S. say their business won't go back to normal until sometime in 2021. 20% believe it will be sometime in 2020. Roughly 20% of businesses in the U.S. said that as of August 2020, their sales remained at 50% or less of their pre-pandemic levels. 28% of businesses in the U.S. said their sales were 50 to 74% of the pre-pandemic levels as of August 2020. 80% of businesses in the U.S. said their sales were back to their pre-pandemic levels. As of August 2020, Americans submitted an average of 111,000 applications for new businesses per week between the end of June 2020 
In the beginning of September 2020, the most applications submitted per week since 2007. 75% of adults in the U.S. had a great deal or quit a lot of confidence in small businesses as of June 2020. That exceeds confidence in the military. 72%. The medical system, 51%. The police, 48%. Organized religion, 42%. Public schools, 41%. The U.S. Supreme Court, 40%. The presidency, 39%. Banks, 38%. Large technology companies, 32%. Organized labor, 31%. Newspaper, 24%. The criminal justice system, 24%. Businesses, 19%. Television news, 18%, and Congress, 13%. That was 75% of adults in the U.S. had a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in small businesses as of June 2020. <clears throat> Americans' confidence in small business is at its highest level since 2007. 87% of Republicans, 74% of Democrats, and 68% of independents had a great deal of, or quite a lot of confidence in small businesses as of June 2020. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, and you found it to be valuable information, please be sure to give a like and subscribe. Be sure to click on the bell icon and then click all to get notified of upcoming videos. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.